Radiation exposure originates from many sources, not just the fallout from nuclear weapons or power plants. Other sources of radiation include X-rays, microwaves, power lines, cell phones and computer monitors. Radioactive isotopes from nuclear fallout, such as strontium-90, can remain in the body for years, damaging the DNA within cells and causing mutations. Electromagnetic radiation from electronic devices passes through the body, causing immediate DNA damage and the formation of harmful free radicals. Some foods contain nutrients that naturally eliminate isotopes and free radicals from the body. Pectin-rich foods. Pectin is a structural polysaccharide found in the cell walls of plants and fruits. According to Fighting Radiation and Chemical Pollutants with Foods, Herbs and Vitamins, Pectin has the ability to bind radioactive residues and remove them from the body. Pectin acts as a natural chelating agent, which is a compound that has an affinity for other molecules. Chelating agents bind to other compounds, dragging them out of tissues or the bloodstream, so they can be removed from the body in urine or feces. Apples, especially the skin, are high in pectin, as are guavas, plums, gooseberries, oranges and other citrus fruits. Organic fruits with less pesticide or fertilizer contamination are the best choice, although pectin powder can be taken as a supplement. Chlorophyll-rich foods. Chlorophyll has been called the green blood of plants because of its similar structure to hemoglobin. Chlorophyll is used by plants to convert sunlight into energy and contains many healthy nutrients, including antioxidants that can scavenge free radicals. According to the book, Chlorella, some studies have found that chlorophyll-rich foods, such as chlorella, spirulina and alfalfa, can decrease radiation toxicity. Chlorella, in particular, has the ability to neutralize radiation and mercury-related conditions in the body and to remove poisonous substances, including cadmium, dioxins and PCBs. Chlorella can also detoxify uranium, lead and copper. Other foods rich in chlorophyll include leafy greens, celery, parsley, bean sprouts and wheatgrass. Seaweeds. Seaweeds, also called sea vegetables, are not only an excellent source of nutrients, but they are rich in both sodium alginate and iodine, elements that are very effective at protecting the body from radiation and removing it. Kelp is the best known seaweed, but other popular ones are called arame, wakame and kombu. According to a 1964 McGill University study published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal, sodium alginate from kelp reduced radioactive strontium absorption in the intestines by 50 to 80 percent. The sodium alginate allowed calcium to be absorbed through the intestinal wall while binding most of the strontium, which was excreted out of the body. Seaweed is also a rich source of natural iodine. If there is a lack of natural iodine in the diet, radioactive iodine-131 will be absorbed and accumulate in the thyroid gland. Radioactive iodine injures the thyroid, causing mutations, swelling and cancer. Consuming natural plant-based iodine helps offset the side effects of radiation exposure. Japanese miso soup contains many ingredients that combat the effects of radiation, such as whole rice, barley, soybeans, sea salt, seaweed, onions and kojikan fungus. A 1990 Hiroshima University study concluded that people who eat miso soup regularly may be up to five times more resistant to radiation poisoning than people who do not. Awesome Health Benefits of Chlorophyll you may have heard a lot of buzz surrounding the healthiness of vegetables, especially leafy green vegetables with deep, rich color tones. In many ways, they're perfect foods and part of the credit is owed to the chlorophyll they contain. Chlorophyll is a green pigment that's instrumental in photosynthesis. Research also suggests it's instrumental in promoting good health. The following 10 benefits demonstrate its amazing versatility and power. 1. Helps control hunger and cravings, a study released in September of 2013 determined that compounds containing chlorophyll might help suppress hunger. 20 moderately overweight women were given test meals on three separate occasions one week apart, two meals with chlorophyll, one without. They reported reduced hunger following the meals containing the chlorophyll and blood tests showed stable blood sugar levels. These results suggest chlorophyll should be considered as an effective way to manage hunger and promote weight loss. 2. Controls body odor, chlorophyll is good for your body from the inside out, literally. This includes body and fecal odors. 
When tested in a nursing home with 62 patients, one study reported improvements in the odors emanating from the test subjects. In addition to odor reduction, it also alleviated constipation and gas. 3. Encourages healing The use of chlorophyll to promote the healing process was first reported nearly 100 years ago. One report published by Butler University in 1950 discussed its use for improving healing times. A more recent study found that, when used as a spray, chlorophyll significantly helped wound therapy. The research clearly backs its effectiveness in this area. 4. Promotes cleansing Environmental pollutants such as toxic metals can quickly destroy health. Chlorophyll binds with toxic metals to hamper absorption, and research has shown it can do the same with some carcinogens. A crossover study with four human volunteers tested chlorophyll's ability to remove ingested aflatoxin, a known carcinogen. Each volunteer received three servings of the aflatoxin, followed with a meal, the latter two included a tablet of chlorophyll. The results showed rapid elimination with 95% evacuated within 24 hours. 5. Protects DNA against fried foods Fried foods aren't just bad for your waistline, they also contain chemicals known to damage colon tissue and the DNA of colon cells. In one study, participants who ate fried foods coupled with protective foods, including chlorophyll, were observed to have less DNA damage of colon cells. Don't take that as just cause to go crazy with the fried foods, the best idea is to avoid them altogether. 6. Super Potent Antioxidant Action Chlorophyll's status as a superfood is due to its nutritional and potent antioxidant properties. It protects cells from oxidative damage by eliminating free radicals. One plant known for its high chlorophyll levels, Coniza triloba, showed very active superoxide scavenging behavior. An in vitro study found it capable of reducing free radicals while reducing cell damage. 7. Promising potential for cancer therapy Although the research doesn't currently show that chlorophyll is an all-out cancer cure, researchers are excited about its potential as a therapy. One study found men with lower levels of dietary chlorophyll had higher risks of colon cancer. Another study noted it effective at stimulating liver detoxifying enzymes and may protect against other carcinogens. 8. Effective against Candida albicans Candida infection is a big problem for many individuals and can lead to fatigue, depression, and digestive problems, just to name a few. Research has shown that isolated chlorophyll solutions stop Candida albicans growth. 9. Relieves systemic redness and swelling Traditional medicine has long used green leaves for infections. With modern approaches that have limited effectiveness and a long list of side effects, natural remedies are getting another look. Animal studies have found that green leaves help to reduce swelling and redness. 10. Promotes healthy iron levels A modified form of chlorophyll known as chlorophyllin may be highly effective for anemia. By swapping iron for magnesium at the center of the molecule, it provides a bioavailable form of iron the body can use. While scientists may look for ways to develop patent-able medicines, no one needs to wait to take chlorophyll to gain its benefits. Chlorophyll, an excellent dietary supplement. Chlorophyll possesses an amazing range of benefits and is readily available to everyone. Chlorophyll-rich foods are also healthy in their own right and contain essential vitamins and nutrients needed for cardiovascular, muscular, and neural health. Consume foods containing chlorophyll or take a dietary supplement for best effect. Raw foods diet risks you may not know. A raw food diet is based upon uncooked, unprocessed plant-derived foods. Staples of the diet include organic fruits and vegetables, sprouts, unprocessed grains, nuts, beans and seaweed. In some cases mildly heated foods, such as warm vegetable soup, are permitted. Depending upon the strictness of your diet, eating primarily raw foods may pose risks, including nutrient deficiencies and potentially serious illnesses. To learn healthy ways to incorporate raw food diet principles into your lifestyle, seek guidance from your dietitian. Vitamin B12 Deficiency Vitamin B12 is a water-soluble nutrient that plays an important role in brain function, red blood cell production and DNA synthesis. People who consume a strict vegetarian or vegan diet are at risk for vitamin B12 deficiency since the nutrient only occurs naturally in animal-derived foods, such as dairy products, meat and fish. 
While fortified breakfast cereals are valuable sources of vitamin B12 for vegetarians, raw food diets typically do not contain processed breakfast cereals. Symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency include fatigue, constipation, reduced appetite, numbness or tingling in your feet and hands, mouth soreness, balance problems, depression, poor memory and mental confusion. The Office of Dietary Supplements suggests addressing vitamin B12 deficiency promptly to prevent permanent damage. Treatment may include oral supplementation, vitamin B12 injections or dietary changes. Cholesterol Problems Consuming a raw food diet may also negatively impact your cholesterol levels. According to research published in the Journal of Nutrition, a raw food diet may improve your triglyceride levels, but hinder your HDL, or good, cholesterol. 46% of the raw food dieters studied demonstrated abnormally low HDL cholesterol a significant risk factor for heart disease. While some raw food dieters include plant-based oils in their diets, many others do not, since oils do not occur naturally and require processing. Other foods that promote positive HDL levels, such as fish, seafood, peanut butter and whole grain breads and cereals, are also restricted or limited in most raw food diets. Eating too few acceptable raw fat forms, such as nuts, avocados and seeds, increases your risk for cholesterol problems. Poor bone density. Eating too few calories, maintaining a low body weight and consuming deficient amounts of calcium and vitamin D are significant risk factors for osteoporosis a condition characterized by weak, brittle bones. Since many raw food diets are based upon low-calorie foods, such as fruits, vegetables and sprouted grains, and low in denser foods, you may find it difficult to meet your daily caloric needs. While calcium is prevalent in some raw foods, such as green vegetables and almonds, you may not consume amounts required to meet your nutrient needs. For example, one cup of chopped raw broccoli provides roughly 43 grams of calcium. One cup of milk provides 300 milligrams. In order to properly absorb calcium, your body requires roughly 600 to 800 international units of vitamin D per day. While you can reap vitamin D from sun exposure, available dietary sources of vitamin D include seafood, meat, eggs and fortified, dairy products foods typically not included in raw food diets. Consuming a strict, low-calorie raw food diet increases your risk for poor bone density, osteoporosis and resultant bone fractures significantly.